Welcome back, Dominic here. Before Trey kicks off your tie-dye lesson, take a look in your kitchen to see if there's something you can use for dye. Cranberry, grape juice, and food coloring all stain pretty well. Yo, what's up guys? It's Trey, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to tie-dye your shoes using some materials you can find at home. Uh, it's important to note this is only gonna work on a shoe that has a fabric upper, such as mesh or canvas. For that reason, I have the CDG Converse here. In order to do this at home, the materials you're going to need are a pair of sneakers, a dye, so I have food coloring here. If you don't have food coloring, some alternatives are any type of juice that's going to stain, dark juice like cranberry juice or grape juice. You're going to need bleach. You're going to need containers. You're going to need old paint brushes. If you don't have old paint brushes, you can use Q-tips. I have the Surgeon Creator Studio paint pens here. I'm gonna use them to customize a little bit after I do all my dyeing. That's it, let's start dyeing these shoes. All right guys, now that we have all the materials we need, we're gonna create some dye. I'm gonna use the food coloring and water in my cups here. Uh, food coloring is actually a great option for dyeing these shoes because you can really create your own colors and your own depths. So if you want a really concentrated dark color, you're gonna use less water, more dye. If you want a lighter, like a pink or, or a light purple or something, you're gonna use a lot of water and barely any dye. All right, I got the laces taken off this shoe here. I wanna leave the tongue completely white for the design I have ready planned out. So I'm just gonna roll it up. I'm gonna tuck it so it's just out of the way and there's no chance of dye getting on that big piece of the tongue right there. All right, we got the shoe fully prepped, so now we're gonna go ahead and start dyeing it. All right, I got my base colors laid down on this tie-dye pattern I'm trying to do. They're all kind of faded, light colors, which is okay. Now to get some of those darker color accents, I'm gonna put some of my food coloring directly on my brush and add some of these dark streaks. All right, to create this tie-dye effect, the surface of the shoe is already really wet from all the dye I put on top of it. So I should be able to just tap this brush and you'll be able to see the dye kind of spread out and mix with everything else on the upper. As you can see, the dye is mixing with the wet surface of the upper. It creates this fuzzy outline, similar to a tie-dye design. All right guys, I got the darker colors of dye kind of streaked out on the upper the way I like. And to really top off this tie-dye design, I'm gonna apply some bleach to help spread and push the dye out and bring out some of the white to really make it look like a tie-dye shirt. I have three Q-tips here. I'm gonna hold them all at once and put them together so I can soak up a lot of the bleach. I'm just gonna dip it in my bleach here. Now I'm gonna take the Q-tips, I'm gonna press and really kinda of get the bleach to soak into that surface to push these colors around. All right, I got the shoe dyed the way I like. Before I go in with my paint pens and add some accents that are gonna really tie this whole thing together, I'm gonna to take my laces, some of my leftover dye, and I wanna dye these like a light red or pink and while these are soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and customize the rest of the shoe with the paint pens. All right guys, I just wrapped up these Converse CDGs. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Looks sick. And I hope you can use these at-home dyeing methods on your next project. Thanks for watching. Peace.